Hey guys, it's Brent, and I'm back to talk about this article that I've seen going around about this fan that uh, basically requested for his money back from Ticketmaster for a KISS concert, uh, upcoming KISS concert tickets to it. Uh, he had apparently spent about $4,000 uh, for tickets, and upon seeing videos on YouTube of Paul Stanley lip syncing and you know using backing tracks uh, complained that he paid to see a live performance and he complained to uh, Ticketmaster and got his money back. Now I've been one of the people that has been you know criticized for making lip syncing videos. I've got two videos that I've come under a lot of fire for. Uh, Paul Stanley caught lip syncing which has over 150,000 views and then Paul Stanley caught again uh, which has over 80,000 views and that one I've received a little bit more criticism for because in the first one it's kind of blatant. Um, Paul was nowhere near the mic in the song Psycho Circus when the yeah went off at the beginning and he was nowhere near the mic. My second one is uh, one that I've seen other videos about where it's Heaven's on Fire. These are the same songs that you, if you go and do a search on YouTube right now, you'll see that my videos are there and so are other people's videos. And a lot of time it comes back to Heaven's on Fire or Lick It Up. It comes back to those two songs, which I think Paul is using assistance in all of his tracks. Um, but I think he's really using assistance in those two. And this fan, apparently, he asked to get his money back, and he got his money back uh, because Paul is using backing tracks and lip syncing, and he's not came right out and said it. So I thought that was a very interesting article, a very interesting precedence um, has been set, in my opinion, uh, for somebody asking to get their money back for a ticket and for you know a considerable sum four grand but i i went and looked on these other people's pages and looked at their comments and it's funny that everybody has the same i didn't feel so bad honestly because everybody has the same comments for other people than they do for me you know i get the same run-of-the-mill comments Get a life, loser. You apparently have too much free time. Get a girlfriend, boyfriend. Get a hobby. You're awful obsessive. How do you call yourself a KISS fan? You know, and those are just, to me, those are the dumbest ones because there is no argument. If you're going to come at me and troll me, have some kind of argument. Have something to say against what I'm trying to say. I mean, like I said, these videos are my opinion. And uh, so if you watch them, you're free to give your opinions, but be able to put some words together. Like, for example, the people that say, oh, well, the synchronization is off because, you know, it's a cheap camera. You've got shitty footage, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, and it's funny. They talk about the synchronization being off, except the synchronization is right on time up to the point that I point out that there's a lip sync. So why was the synchronization on time up to the point that they say that there's the lip sync? Um, the argument about the microphones, uh, dynamic microphones. Dynamic microphones would pick it up. Omnidirectional microphones would pick it up. They don't use omnidirectional microphones a lot of times in live recording. They use unidirectional uh, microphones, which is usually only recording like what is right in front. You go watch some old footage of Paul singing when he wasn't using backing tracks. When his mouth goes away from the microphone, his voice drops out. That doesn't happen in these clips. It's just as strong. And it is on time. And... I hear the people go, you apparently don't know a whole lot about the way sound recording works. I've been in bands and recorded and been in recording studios since I was 16 years old. So I know what I'm talking about. I know how microphones work. I know how synchronization works. I know how video audio sync works. I know all of this. 
So that's what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, this is my opinion and you choose to believe what you want to believe. But I appreciate the arguments that come forth that are like that, you know, that if you come to me and say, well, you obviously don't know what you're talking about. Well, I could be a dick back and say, well, you don't know what you're talking about. You know, or, well, maybe you need to get out of your mama's basement. Maybe you need to get a boyfriend or a girlfriend. So I'm not going to do that. But I'm going to present my argument just as I'm doing right now. And I'm not the only person that sees it. I'm not a blind Kiss Sheep fan. And I am a Kiss fan. I've been a Kiss fan for 43 years. I'm now 50 years old. So I've been a Kiss fan. In August, I'll be a Kiss fan for 43 years. And just because I criticize them or call them out on something that they're doing wrong doesn't mean that I'm not a Kiss fan. Even though I think Paul is doing backing tracks. And is this a... Is this beating a dead horse at this point in time? Yes, it is. But I wanted to make this video just to basically show and talk about this point that now there is a fan who has gotten his money back from Ticketmaster because he's like, I don't want to pay for this if it's not going to be a live performance. And I bought a live performance. I don't want to pay for it. I guess I'm making these videos just to help educate people that there is something going on. But at the end of the day, it's still up to you if you want to go see them or not. If you want to go see KISS, this is probably their last tour. It's probably the last time they're going to be coming through your town. If you want to go see them, by all means, go see them. I probably will still, still go see them. They're coming to my town or close to my town on August the 10th. Me and my son, Stephen, who's been in videos with me, he was over here earlier today. We were talking that we're probably going to go. I asked him today, I said, do you still want to go? And he's like, yeah, sure. So I would like to take him because he's never seen Kiss. Jury's still out, leaning definitely very hard towards going. For those of who you care, and most of you probably don't care whether I go or not, but, you know. But these videos aren't to tear Kiss down. Uh, they're to educate people and an attempt to educate people. And you're going to have the naysayers. You're going to have the people that I never could convince. They're always going to hide behind that they use better mics than I think they do. That the footage is crappy. That he's blatantly not doing it. Or that my stuff's off time. I need better editing software. I need to get a job. I need to get a girlfriend. I need to get a hobby. I need to find something better to do. Um, need to lose weight because I'm a fat loser. So, I mean, if that's what those people think, I'm never going to be able to convince them otherwise. But the people that's out there that would be offended if they went to a show and saw the lip syncing, um, that's what the, these videos are for you. These videos are for you. Uh, these are not trying. These are not videos trying to talk anybody into not going to the concert. But you need to understand that Paul may be using assistance, and that's okay. I've heard people go, "Well, he's seventy years old." I understand that. But if you want to go, go. I guess that's really all I want to say is, it's just it's kind of a weird precedence that's been set with the refund of these tickets and. The comments on the people who's making the lip syncing videos is just vicious sometimes. If if they don't agree with us, it's vicious. But then there's those who are like, yeah, you're right. Holy crap, I see it. So people are going to see what they want to see. People are going to believe what they want to believe. And some people where I'm not going to be able to convince them otherwise. But at least I hope you've been entertained. So anyway, that's all I've got for this one. It's a short one, and uh, I am coming back with more videos, so stick around. I'm Brant within my head channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Looking for some satisfaction. This mundane little life. A little turbo reaction. Just to sustain my mind.